Motorhead Garage, presented by Dustless Blasting, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage, presented by Dustless Blasting. You know, this brand new Chevy Dually 3500 HD is awesome. It's got a ton of horsepower, a ton of torque. It'll pull whatever you want. Unfortunately, sometimes that factory hitch isn't going to cut the mustard. You want to pull a fifth wheel trailer? You got to put a fifth wheel hitch in it. You want to put a good fifth wheel hitch in it? You want to talk to a quality company like Reese. John is over with the guys from Reese right now. We're going to talk about their fifth wheel, and we're going to drop one in the back of this Silverado. Well, who better to talk to about the product, product features, and the installation of the product than the product manager himself? I'm here with Tom from Reese. Tom, this is a man-sized hitch. This is something right here. Reese is a great name. Tell us about it, and then let's talk about the product. Sure. So Reese has been providing solutions for uh, towers for over 65 years now. And uh, we realize that people don't so much tow as they do uh, take their boat to the lake, their RV camping, that sort of thing, right? They don't want to worry about all the noise, the clunks, the rattles, or any of the stuff that makes them insecure when they're getting there. So when we build a new product, we always try to uh, keep the customer foremost in mind, and uh, we, we try to build around what we call confidence in towing. So a lot of the features of this new product were based with that idea in mind. So having said that, the basic product is three main parts, a head, a center section, and legs. Um, I'm gonna start with the head. On the head, when you go to back into a trailer with a fifth wheel, right. a lot of times you might have to get out, move a handle, lock the jaws open, something of that nature. This jaw set up here is the uh, Reese Talon jaw, and it's always ready to receive. So basically, you can just jump in the truck, back into the trailer, and there's nothing you have to do to prep for it ahead of time. Once you've backed in and you've connected, you'll know you're connected because we have an indicator over here that'll go from green and red. So if it's not connected, it'll be red. If it's connected, it'll show green. You're able to see that from either the cab or the side of the truck. So if you're out on the side and you're securing it, You'll be able to look over, see it's connected. If you're backing in, you'll know when you're connected. Very important. The instructions come right with it as well. That's right. We have a QR code so the customer at any time with any one of these pieces can take their cell phone and uh, pull the instructions right up online. We've also got our website on there, and we also have our uh, technical service line on there. Awesome. Let's move down a couple more pieces. Sure. So this is the center section of the hitch, and uh, the center section has a couple of neat features. One, it has independent pivot bushings in here that it rotates on. And those independent pivot bushings can be tightened so that over time there's no play or chucking, so there's no undue noise or anything. Um, another feature is, is these yokes here are offset so that some trucks might need just another inch or two for the trailer to clear the cab. You can actually take this out, bolt it in the other way, and gain a little bit of clearance. That's something a lot of feature a lot of other hitches doesn't have. Perfect. What about these end two pieces? So these are the legs, and uh, just like the rest of the product, we've got instructions right on the leg, the torque specs and everything are right there for you. Basically, they need to be bolted to the center section. Right. Then the whole unit can drop in the truck, and then we'll take these uh, pieces here and uh, just lock it in place. That's it. There you go. All the hardware is included. It's good that the instructions on there. All the pieces are here. It should be a simple installation, and that's a good thing because we got Brian over at the pickup truck. He's going to install this. So John and Tom talked about how this Reese hitch comes together and how it works on the table. Now we're going to actually install it in the truck and show you some of the attributes that really kind of set it apart from everybody else. First thing we need to do is obviously table assembly was done. Everything's been torqued to right spec. Now all we're going to do is lift it up and drop it into the receivers here in the back bed of the truck. Now the next step and one of the things that makes this interesting is you come around each corner, you slide your kind of lock pins in here, you slide your lock arms in. One of the things you want to do when you once you do that, especially with this hitch, is you take it and you give it a little wiggle. Now here we can tell that there's some movement up, there's a little bit of slack in there. There's production variants in every pickup truck ever made. The thing that sets this hitch apart is all I have to do is take this little castle nut, give it a little bit of a turn. Now see how I've taken all the slack out of that? That's exactly what I want to do. So as long as I line my castle nut up with the hole for my cotter pin, the pin's going to come through. I'm going to bend that and I'm, and I'm going to know if going forward that there's no slack in this thing and it's not going to be kind of making a bunch of noise flop around unnecessarily in the back of the truck. This is going to lead to uh, obviously a better experience towing and longer life for the hitch. Once I get the pin bent up, next thing we're going to do is take these lock pins and place them in here so I can't have any uh, unlocking situations as I'm going down the road. Real simple, they drop right in. And again, this is a safety measure to make sure that uh, the hitch itself is secured properly to the bed and can't come loose. So the last major step is to install the head onto the hitch, and that really kind of goes on nicely. You kind of set it on here, walk it on a little bit, sits right down on those ears, and you're provided a couple of big pins here. Now these pins obviously integral. You're going to slide these pins underneath. They have a cotter, and that's going to really secure your head. Now, 
We talked about it before, but note the rake of this thing right here. When you go to hook up a trailer, you want to use the ramp. When you bring the trailer in, use the ramp. Remember, we have those springs on here, and those springs are going to keep that forward ramp down. Use it. Don't come in very high with your ball when you get ready to hook up your trailer. After you get this process completed and you do hook up your trailer, you want to do a couple, a quick kind of three-step process to make sure you're going to be safe going down the road. First thing is you make sure your ball is locked, which is great. Lock arm comes in for you know simulating a trailer here. Lock arm's going to be in. We're going to secure our pin through here. The next we're going to do is hook up our trailer brakes, obviously our seven pin connector. And the last thing you're going to do is do a pull test. Don't just go ripping out on the highway. You want to make sure that everything's set up and ready to go before you actually get out on the open road. We took a chance. We finished this up. We actually got the thing hooked up to a trailer to execute how nicely it does work. And as you can see here, it works beautifully. Truck tows very well. We're taking our load. We're going to center it right over the axle, so we're going to be nice and stable. Not going to be wandering around the highway with something that's too big hooked to our standard factory hitch. Reese hitch is very well designed, and it's got a little stylish flair, too. This is something you got a big, wide truck. You want to have something that looks fitting in your big dually truck. Well, this is certainly that. So we run our final pin in here just again. It's all about safety when you're towing anything. You really need to make sure that everything is secured 100%. It's uh, not something you want to take any extra chances on. So this Reese fifth wheel hitch is a beautiful piece. It's a functional piece, easy to use, and it'll last you the life of your truck. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage after this.